What's up guys? John and Shreese here outside ABC Action News, WFTS. If you guys want to know more about the Titan lifestyle and more about what me and Sharice do behind the scenes, tune in. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC Titan Medical Center and we'll see you there. Some of the other details that we have going on and uh, make sure everything is tip top for your guys viewing pleasure so if you guys want to see it sunday 11 a.m abc i don't care if you're on frontier spectrum as long as you're in florida from crystal river sarasota and if you guys are not in the state don't worry we're going to be posting for you guys to check it out and see everything that's going on finished up the final details of our show which is airing 11 a.m. every Sunday at ABC if you're in Florida from Crystal River to Sarasota and any counties in between there so tune in if you guys want to see more about the Titan lifestyle and more behind the scenes with me and Cherise hello guys I'm John I'm Cherise and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center Today, we have a special guest for you guys. We have one of our medical providers, Shanil. Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you so much for having me here. It's an honor to be here with you today. You're welcome. So, Shanil, we want to bring you on here. So, what exactly is your background, and what do you do for Titan Medical Center? Yep, excellent. So, I'm an advanced practice registered nurse. Um, I've been in the medical field as a nurse for 10 years, and I have been an advanced practice registered nurse for the past four years. So what that means is I started out as a nurse, I went back to graduate school, um, which then gave me the background that I needed to be able to diagnose, treat, and care for patients at an upper level um, scale. So I do work very closely with doctors and other medical providers to provide adequate care to patients. And at Titan Medical, we um, center our focus around balancing hormones, um, optimizing overall health, wellness goals, and really just getting to the root of some of those problems that patients have. Um, and in, addi in addition to that, we have a vitamin and amino acid therapies, medical weight loss, detox and rejuvenation, mm -hmm. and a whole plethora of different um, therapies to help patients achieve their goals. Wow, that sounds <laughs> awesome. So we've, we've pretty much helped every patient achieve their goal of what they're really looking for. And I think that's the big thing, right? Now, can you tell us a little bit about how hormone imbalances can affect people mentally, physically, just on the day-to-day -day basis for them? Hormones are a very important part of the body. They um, relate to and send messages to many different organs in the body that tell those organs how to respond in different ways and when to respond and what actions to promote within the body. So if one of those hormones is not signaling properly or isn't being sent properly by one of those um, endocrine uh, glands, mm -hmm. it's going to disrupt a lot of different functions in the body, which will then be determined based on the organ that is being affected by that. So say it's um, your estrogen levels, your testosterone levels, whatever the case may be, that can cause different fluctuations, which can then cause different symptoms such as low libido, energy levels, 
poor sleep quality, decreased mental focus and concentration, um, can also cause water retention, difficulty in weight loss, uh, all kinds of different things, and that's just to name a few. So it's really important to keep those levels balanced um, to really just optimize your health, and not only that, keep some of those other hormones balanced as well. Sounds super important for somebody to really check after and look for. So Chanel, how can bringing back some of these hormones or optimizing some of these hormones really help patients, males and females? It's a great question. So when you are rebalancing these hormones, um, it can certainly help alleviate a lot of these symptoms that the patients are experiencing, um, which can of course improve energy levels, their libido, sometimes even their relationships because that can be causing quite a disruption in that aspect of their life. Um, you know, we have had several patients that do come back to us and say, you saved my marriage because, you know, my wife wasn't happy, I wasn't happy, whatever the case may be, which is unfortunate, um, especially when it was something that was out of their control in that aspect. So by balancing hormones, you're not only improving just overall symptoms that the patient's experiencing, but sometimes the most important things in their day-to-day -day life as well. So it's really important to make sure you're looking at the whole picture and not just the labs or you know whatever the case may be yeah that's awesome so i mean it sounds like this is really going to help somebody in their day-to-day -day life um, some of these things that they might not even know that they'd be, be experiencing like these symptoms and stuff like that and just chalk it up to maybe i didn't sleep enough last night maybe i'm not eating correctly or something else is going wrong or i'm just like this you know they really don't know what it is can you tell us a little bit about why lab testing is so important and then maybe a few tests that, you know, hormones and things like that that should be ran that maybe PCPs and regular doctors don't usually run at their regular checkups? Absolutely. So um, looking at the whole picture of hormones is very important and that's not something that you want to guess on because as we kind of said earlier, depending on what type of organ system is involved can merit many, merit many different symptoms that are associated um, with that organ structure. And sometimes the symptoms can be very similar between the two. So if you're not adequately checking and looking to see what needs to be replaced or balanced, you can be correcting the wrong thing. Um, which is often, as an example, what you see when people try and correct their own testosterone levels or estrogen levels. Um, and really it was an estrogen that was too low or too high and they just pound on more testosterone or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. Um, and then they end up doing more harm than good. And in that regard, even then shutting down the body's natural ability to produce that hormone. Um, and you ended up in a worse case than you were to begin with. I mean, so it's really a really balancing act of what you're doing and making sure that you're monitoring these things. And like Cherie said, some regular doctors, like some of the guys go in, and they usually get a checkup. They say, you know, you're healthy as a horse, right? You know, my doctors always say that. And I, you know, what does that mean? You know, is it my cholesterol is healthy as a horse? My liver, my kidneys are good. Um, but I, when I asked my general practitioner, this was 10 years ago, my general doctor, right? My primary care doctor, you know, about testosterone and stuff like that. He said, well, why do you want to check that? You know, well, I'm having some of these symptoms and well, you don't need that right now. Or they might just not know about it. So that's really cool that we're checking and you're really looking at some of these different tests that a lot of general practitioners or primary care doctors are not looking at. So that's really, really cool. Um, you know, so when a patient does come in, how much time do you usually spend with them? And why do you usually spend that time with them? What do you usually go over? I Absolutely. Guess? So I am one of those providers that absolutely thinks it's just extremely important to spend as much time with the patient as the patient needs. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the benefits of working with Titan Medical is, you know, we're not trying to just flip patients. We're actually taking the time, spending the time um, to make sure we're answering all the questions, explaining exactly what the protocols are, why we are giving certain medications, so that there is no guessing about it. I want the patient to know that, you know, they're in good hands. We really genuinely care about their overall well-being and how they're doing on their regimens um, and making sure that everything's balanced appropriately, um, which is why follow-up is also extremely important. Um, and follow through and just being available to the patient in between the next follow-up appointment via phone call, email, whatever the case may be, um, so that they have confidence in us taking care of them um, and themselves in doing their regimen. So um, typically I'll spend anywhere depending on um, the type of appointment it is, of course. Uh, for new patients, usually anywhere between 20 to 45 minutes. Sometimes I've even gone up to an hour if the patient has a lot of questions that need wow. to be answered. Uh, because I do want to make sure that they're confident and they, they are 
feeling good about the regimen and what's being prescribed to them. Um, for follow-up appointments, generally it's a little bit less because I'd like to think I answered all the questions yep. up front. Um, and sometimes that can be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes or so. Wow, so it's really important for the patient to know what's going on. Um, I think that, you know, Chenille has went over the blood testing, what the patient's really gonna, you know, perceive when they come in as far as treatment-wise. They're gonna know what the benefits are, the possible negative side effects, if there is any, and just overall what we're gonna do to benefit them. Um, so it's really, really cool. And a lot of times, I know that, you know, regular doctors or even primary care physicians or whoever it might be, even your specialists nowadays, I know that they don't really have the time to spend with the patients. So I know that you know that you think that's very, very important as well. Absolutely. And so do we. So if you're wanting to become a patient with Titan Medical Center and you need the special care, I think that we're here to help people. So we want people to call or text 727-389-3220 to be able to get the professional experience for our medical providers and our care. You're not only a patient with Titan Medical Center, but family. And we think Absolutely. about it as family. So we want you to become part of the Titan Medical Center family and uh, that's it. And then maybe you'll get to meet Chenille as well and have the positive experience of working with her and letting her answer all your questions. So thank you, Chenille, for coming on. Thank you so we much. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. Pleasure's all mine, thank you.
Hi guys, John here. Sharice. And we've got our beautiful model here, Michelle, who's part of our internal team and she is a Titanette. So this segment is going to spotlight some of our awesome Titan clothing apparel line. And we have so many things for males and females, but today we want to show you our Titan athletic apparel. And this is a matching sports bra that Michelle has on for our Titan athletic apparel. The top with the bottom, this is very, very high quality all the way around. So if you've had any other experience with leggings, these don't ride up, they don't ride down, they stay in place, they fit the body the right way and the curves just like you like them, okay? With this design especially, is really, really cool. So with this, it has the actual pocket on the side. So ladies, when I seen you guys in the gym, me and Sharice both, right? All the girls didn't have a place to put their cell phones, their wallets, their IDs. Yep. This makes it optimal for you guys to be able to put in there to do your exercise, your workouts without any problems, without anything sticking out of your sports bra. <laughs> you guys will not only feel good in the gym with Titan Medical Center, but you'll also look good inside and outside of the gym. I guarantee you guys will get a lot of compliments on our apparel. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad John brought this up. So first of all, we cannot forget to give John full credit for the line because he is the one that put it together, if you can believe uh, that or not. Yeah. So Michelle, tell us a little bit about the waistband and how it makes a difference because I know that a lot of you guys have worn yeah, leggings out there. Especially with the leggings, you know, you don't like to have them run, run down or anything like that. It has a thick band, so if you have like a bad tummy little area, yeah. it covers it, especially it's squat proof too. Oh yeah. Yeah. And has a really good back area. Absolutely. <laughs> so I think that's another big thing. When girls do do squats or they're bending over, uh -huh. um, some of the cheap leggings or leggings out there will show the white through it, mm -hmm. which you will not get with this lady. So you guys are covered yeah. all the way around. I promise you guys. So we want to make you guys look and feel your best. Yeah. It's easy to rock these clothes. Super easy and very, very comfortable, might mm -hmm. I say. So if you want to purchase these Titan Athletic Apparel clothing or more for males and females, check out TitanMedicalCenter.com underneath the clothing tab and you guys can get all this great gear and a lot more. Hi guys, John here. Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today we have a special guest for you again. It's one of our Titan athletes and good friends, Rodney Rodzilla. Hey, glad to be here. Awesome. Yeah. Glad to have you here in the studio doing the Titan show. So, you know, we get a lot of questions, Rodney. I've known you for a long time. Long time. So, biggest question is, how old are you? I'll be 50 in four weeks. 50 wow. in four yeah. weeks. So, you're just defying <laughs> age right now, right? You're defying like wine. Wow. <laughs> I mean, because ever since I've known you, it's just been getting better and oh, better yeah. every year. Yeah. Right? So... The next thing is with New Year's resolutions coming around and, or people want to lose weight, you know, what are like three tips you'd give somebody to get in shape and stay in shape? Well, you got to have a game plan first. You know, okay. you got to stay focused on your plan. And it starts off with being healthy as far as the working out and the eating right. You just got to stay focused and stay on track. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy, it sounds well, like, right? Yeah, as long as you have a game plan. But people got to get that game plan together, that's, that's the right? Main and that might thing. be the hard part for them. Okay, all right. So that's the first thing. Get a game plan, make sure you stick to the game plan and the game plan is correct. Definitely. So can you tell us a little secret to what you've got about this anti-aging? Because I mean, I would have never guessed 50. Well, I just try to live a healthy lifestyle. I drink a lot of water, thanks to you. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I work out a lot and yeah. definitely the Titan therapies, they help me out a lot. It definitely changed my life. Awesome, definitely. awesome. And how are the ways that you think they've helped you? I mean, as far as, I know the anti-aging, mm -hmm. you know, keeping you young, you know, like oh, what we're doing. Energy, I have much more energy all day. Yep. Uh, just staying healthy, just running around and working out, so. Daily lifestyle, huh? Daily lifestyle. And how do you think, uh, you know, that healthy lifestyle affects your family? Because I know you, you've got a younger son, yeah, a right? Like me, right? Yeah, I got two So we both got 10 year olds, yeah. they're growing quick. You know, they're very active, oh, yeah. right? And it's good to be able to run around with them, play all the sports with them, throwing football, mm -hmm. swimming, 
yeah. just running around, riding bikes. It's, it's a big, important part. Yeah, 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 and I think that's that lacks on a lot of people. A lot of people come to us and they say, you know, I, I, I got to work all day, and then when I get home, I'm just real tired. I don't know what's wrong, and my kid wants to play with me. The wife wants to hang out a little bit, right. but I just feel like, I, you know, and I don't even try to, but pass it on the couch when I get home. So exactly. it's really cool to hear that because Rodney, you know, I'm 38 turning 39. He's turning 50, so he's got some years on yeah. me, right? <laughs> well, yeah. So you're, you're obviously doing it really good, Definitely. doing it really well. So I really want to bring you on here so people could really hear from you maybe some of these tips and some of these secrets. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, right? Yeah. It's all about getting a healthy lifestyle and making it not as a chore or, exactly. you know, it's not something that's bad against you. It's actually something that's right. good. It's going to benefit you got to stick with it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lifestyle. Got to like be that. regimental mm -hmm. for yeah, sure. Absolutely. And absolutely. you know the health is number one because you only have one body. Remember we you went through that. You got to take care of it too because if you don't, yeah. you know, you got to. Yeah, no one really will, right? Nobody won't. You're the only one. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so we want to appreciate Rodney, Rodzilla coming on here today. It's been a blessing to have you a part of our family, your know, Titan family and team. Rodney is an OG with us. Like seven years, right? It's seven years, Might man. Might be longer than it's that. It's longer, yeah. You know, Rodney knew us uh, way before we even had Titan Medical Center, so yeah. it just, you know, the come up has been crazy. And it was, it was a blessing to join the family. It was, it, it was a blessing, man. It definitely. definitely was a blessing, man. So we want to thank you, Rodney, for coming in today. We appreciate you being a part of our Titan family and a part of our support system, man. We got a lot of good things coming, so I appreciate everything that you've been doing with us and much, much more, I guess, right? Yeah, thank you, it's been my pleasure and uh, we have a lot more things to come. Yeah, so it's gonna be awesome. So we want you guys to stay tuned. We got a lot more tips to help you guys get healthy and get fit for this 2020 year. And thank you guys for supporting us and being our viewers. Hey guys, John here, Sharice, and today we're going to bring you our segment, Cupid's Corner. And this is all about having your relationship healthy and making sure it thrives. So we want to cover a couple points for you that me and Sharice uh, use to maybe help you guys out with your relationship, whether you're married, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be. A little bit about us. We've been together now, married for 12 years. We have a 10 year old son and we own a business together. And we've owned a business together, AKA Tide Medical Center, for seven years. And we've also worked side by side every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, every single day. <laughs> now, this might not be optimal for everybody, but this worked for me and her. There are some common things that you guys can improve on with the relationship by just incorporating some of these tips that we give you. And every week we'll give you some more tips to maybe help your relationship get even better because that's what it's all about, progression. Everything in life is about progression. You always wanna get better through time. Don't ever stay stagnant because at that point things will be dying off, okay? So the first tip of the day is communication. Mm -hmm. Communication's key, I think, right? Huge. Being honest, I, I, not holding back, I, you know, knowing exactly what your partner is thinking. Um, so there's not no miscommunications or I thought this misconceptions per se or well, I, I mean, that was one okay. One of the little tiny secrets is A, never go to bed angry at each other. So if you say you have an argument with your significant other, boyfriend, fiance, husband, make sure you guys talk about it before you go to bed, even if it kills you to talk about it. Just talk about it, give him a kiss, and the next morning, we, if you need to talk about it again, you can, but never go to bed angry at each other and sleep in separate rooms because it never leads to good things. It's really important that you stay open about your feelings and make sure that you're able to communicate that to your significant other because if you don't, they may not know what is on your mind or yeah. what's in your heart. Yeah, you know, with the honesty thing, it's, it's really important because, you know, if you're not honest with them, then you're holding back something that maybe you wanna do. Uh, or something that you want to say and at that point, you know, now think about what you're saying because words can hurt just mm -hmm. like fists, okay? Um, so you want to, you know, think about what you're going to say and present it to your partner, whoever it is, in the most honest way, but, you know, in a, in a very nice way at, at that point too. Don't be harsh on them. Don't go at them. You know, it's, it's like almost mental abuse. We, I see some of these people doing it. Be honest with them, but tell them from your heart. And I think that they'll, you know, they'll embrace that and it will definitely benefit your relationship. It's definitely helped me and Cherise for Absolutely. sure. Another thing is, is prioritize your relationship. It's a job, okay? You have to work for your relationship. Think about when you first got into the relationship with your mm -hmm. partner, how much effort you put forth 
to really make them, you know, like you per se, or love you and, and you know, wanting to make them happy. You know, I, I think that people get to a point where they get comfortable. Yep. They get comfortable in, in what's been going on and they don't work as hard or they don't prioritize their relationship. Well, here is secret number two slash B. Every single Thursday night for the past 12 years, we have went to a movie and it's our movie night. And it's just something that we've done every single year. We're huge movie buffs. Right. And so yeah, it's movies. important though, because that is our time together. So even if we didn't go to a movie, we'd still go to dinner. It's just our time that we dedicate no matter what. So having a date with your significant other, husband, boyfriend, whatever it might be. I don't care if you're 20 years in, it's important to have a date. I mean, it's important to have date night. Absolutely. Gotta have date Absolutely. night. Absolutely. Gotta have that time. That's something you both enjoy, not one-sided per right. se. Like, hey, I wanna go jump out of planes. You know, your significant <laughs> other might do it with you because they love you, but that's not bringing joy to both of you guys. So find common ground in what you guys wanna do. And I think that will help you guys enjoy things together and grow your bond. I mean, that's really what it's about is growing that bond, growing together and not apart. Okay, which comes to the third point, respect. Huge. All right, respect your partner. There's a lot of people out there, and I'm old school, I'm Greek, right? So I'm the male, I'm the alpha male, you know, but I still respect my partner, and I'm my wife. I ask her, you know, I mean, you guys are sharing everything together. So if you guys are really partners in everything, you should get the respect to them and ask them their opinion. You know, even if you guys don't agree on it, agree to disagree, but you're at least giving them respect. And I think that's in everything, whether it's our business decisions or our family decisions, it's always there, right? A hundred percent. Another secret, number three slash C, is to make sure that you never argue in public because that Ooh. is considered disrespect to your partner. So if you have a disagreement and you guys need to talk about it, go to the car, lock up the car doors, get it out of your system, and do not argue in front of other people because ultimately you will be disrespecting each other. In, Absolutely. in front of other people. It's never a good thing. Absolutely. So these are a couple tips that we want to share with you guys. We're going to have this segment every show for you guys to bring you guys more successful tips on to benefit your relationship. So we appreciate you guys tuning in today. Absolutely. Yeah. We cannot wait to share all these cool secrets with you guys because it's a combination of 12 going on 13 years of experience. We got a lot to tell you. Make sure you guys follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and check out our website, TitanMedicalCenter.com.